Morning chaps, welcome along to Hobble Cam. Yeah, we're still suffering with the foot. Uh, reading the comments this morning, a lot of people um, have commented on the goot and on the railings. So, uh, yeah, I think I know what's caused the old gouty thing. I reckon it's drinking cider. I think I should uh, rule that out. I don't eat lots of sugar, to be quite honest. I know I was eating those uh, toffee waffles last week, but that's a very rare occurrence for me. I'm much more of a savoury kind of guy. Um, so yeah, I've just got to cut that out of the diet, I think. And then also people have said, don't paint the logos on the iron railings as well. I'm gonna to have to, I'll show you why. So these have been laser cut, and you've not seen the detail from far away, but they've been hit with a wheel. So can you see all the marks and everything? So if I just put clear varnish on this, it'd look awful. It really would look awful. And it wouldn't fit with our logos. I'll show you the logos that we've got. Look, you can really see, that's not reflection. Look at it, how it's been hit with a grinding wheel to clean off, obviously, all of the slag and everything. And the idea is, our logo should be gold. So that's what we're going to achieve. Look how classy that looks, folks. So once it's painted up gold, it's going to look loads better, loads better than a kind of uh, scratched and burnt. You can see where the, the laser has blued the steel and everything like that. So yeah, uh, it's getting painted. I don't want it rusting away, do I? So spend all this money and then it turns into rust and a bag of shite. Not a good plan. And then also a lot of people have said, you know, the Evolution tool guys, you know the guys that sent me, sent me this saw over here. Well, it hasn't been used yet, that saw. I've been saving it for this project. But it was never intended for the railings. It was intended for the gate. And that's this section. So we are gonna be, that's why I've not welded this up yet. We are gonna be making the gate with the Evolution saw when I'm fit probably, so I can get on with the project. And uh, it's gonna be a real difficult film because I'm gonna try and do a pretty decent job of it because it's basically gonna be an advert for Evolution Power Tools. And it's gonna be, alongside that, an advert for the channel as well. So of course, I wanna make sure that it's filmed to the best of my ability. And everything takes twice as long when you're recording a vlog as well as doing a project. You know, you guys out there cost me loads of time doing this. <laughs> so because it takes twice as long, I need to be fit so I can buzz around and change the angle of the camera, the angle of the dangle to get all the shots. Ain't that right, buddy? See, we need to get the shot. And I don't want to do too much handheld stuff like this because it's obviously really quite wobbly, particularly if I'm limping around. So. All the shots, essentially, want to be locked off on the old tripod. Just like that, essentially. And then, of course, you can play around with the zoom and blur out the background and do all arty-farty shots and that kind of thing. So that's the plan. The Evolution Power Tools video will come later on in the month when we make that gate. So today, uh, I'm going to have to wait for Stuart to arrive uh, because I want to just go and finish off that brickwork in the beer garden so we can mount these gates or these railings. There's no point in me finishing the railings off and then doing the brickwork because we're going to have to wait for the brickwork to cure. There's about 40 odd bricks still left to lay plus the capstones on the top. So I'm going to mix up some cement, we're going to hobble outside, we're going to put these 40 odd bricks on and then they're going to have the weekend or so to cure. Then I'll come back in here, we'll chop up some bolts, cut some steel, drill some holes and make some mounting brackets for the railings. That is the plan today. But I suppose until Stuart gets here, I might just start making the mounting brackets anyway. I'll give him a ring, see where he is. All right, Stu's here, he's taking the bricks next door for me, which is ideal, that means I can get started. And we've also had delivery of the banner. Oh, it looks like we're zoomed in a little bit. What's going on here? There we go. 
So that is uh, going on a on a school fete. Stu's doing uh, a mobile bar for him. That's what we had printed the other day. I think it looks spot on, don't you? I really do. Come on then, buddy, you're outside with me in the garden all day. So once I'm in position, it ain't gonna be too much of a difficult job to do all of this cementing, I don't think. So I'm just gonna mix a bit up by hand. Take it next door. I think they look all right actually together like that, and it works. Yeah. At this table there, exactly in the uh, the coming down right in the middle of it. Yeah. So on either side, you still get splashed. So try and have the side of it. If it does rain, it just the side of it. Mm -hmm. This one's gone quite dark on its own, hasn't it? That had two or three coats of. Uh, yeah, this is two. Two coats. I think Gemma might have put one on as well, Danish oil. I think they've only had the one hit. So yeah. I mean, it's not going to affect the timber. The timber's preserved. It's just the colour. Yeah. Oh, we'll see how they come out. Bit of sunshine on them. It's only that damp period we had. Right, so we've got uh, pillars of five bricks here. And what we're looking for is to extend that up to that height. And then a capping stone on top. So I'm working from waist height up. It's not really going to be very difficult for me to do. Well oh, don't the canal look lovely today? Look at that reflection. Just about to start and it's beginning to look a little bit like bloody rain. So we've got the canopy out to shelter the camera if nothing else. Let's hope we dodge it. Bugger. I called it, didn't I? Right, it's only a shower I think, but uh, yeah, let's get out of here sharpish. I'll put the camera inside and then I can stand under cover if needed, but the rain is on its way. I've got it hitting the wall. Well, we're limping into the beer garden right now. It is the afternoon and uh, sorry about the shaky camera, but here is the finished article folks. So uh, that is the wall with the cappings, all we need now are the railings to go in between. So I'm gonna give this a couple of days, maybe even a week, we'll assess it tomorrow morning. Give it plenty of time to dry out. I don't wanna drill into it and start cracking any cement or loosening any bond. But once it's gone off, it is like, well, rock solid, as you'd expect. Let's get back in the brewery, it's a bit windy out here. Don't do too bad in the wind though, look at that. Yeah, so once it's set, we'll get the railings in. I'm just about to start making the uh, fixings, the anchors to go into the wall, but I don't want to drill into it until it's set completely. This is the gold that we've got on the baskets. I think it looks pretty nice. It's definitely a gold gold. I thought it might be a yellow gold, but it's not, is it? So my plan for the brackets is gonna go something a little bit like this. We're gonna take a little bit of the eight mil by 30 mil bar that we've got as an off cut from yesterday's fabrication. And we're gonna cut it, excuse me, hay fever. We're gonna cut it into 60 mil segments, off cut. And then from those 60 mil segments, we're gonna weld on a bolt toss, like that in the middle. But before we cut it, we're gonna drill holes, one hole either side for a screw, and we'll weld the bolt smack bang in the middle. With these coach bolts, I'm just gonna chop this top section off like that and weld it straight on. And then we can put the actual railings on like quit, we can use the bottom nut to adjust the height and the top nut to tighten it on. And I think that is going to be sufficient. 
So there's going to be six anchors per frame, giving us a total of six bolts per frame and 12 screws going into the brickwork. I think it'll be solid as a rock. So uh, what I'm going to do now is chop up, well I'm going to drill the holes first because bigger bar, more leverage so the drill doesn't pull it out of my hands. Once we've drilled the holes we'll chop it up and then we'll weldy weldy, just like that. And just like that, boys and girls, we have all 18 of the brackets made. Let's have a look. So here they are. This was a nice little uh, batch production, actually. Enjoyed doing it. Let's just brighten this image up a little bit so you can see. Uh, I was just playing around with the settings on the welder as well while I was at it. So one or two of these have bigger bird poo blob welds on the bottom and some of the others, like that one for instance, have really nice little neat welds on them. Uh, but yeah, little jobs like this that are going to get painted. You can really play around with the settings on your welder just to make sure that you've got everything sat right. So you can see when I turned up the heat on these, a lot more soot was generated. Yet some of the earlier ones, a little bit more gold, if you know what I mean. Um, but I think I've got the shielding gas flowing at the right speed and everything else like that. So yeah, these are just going to stick through the holes that we drilled in the side of the frame and be bolted to the wall. Two nuts on each and we can adjust them all so that the railings sit exactly level and exactly where we want them to be. But as far as today goes, folks, yes, you get it. I am going to pack up, jump in the car, go home edit the vlog and uh, have another good night's rest see if we can't get rid of the hobble because it really is starting to get on my goat a little bit now it's Friday tomorrow so I've pretty much had to endure this all week railings are coming on they should be up and on tomorrow provided that 
all the cement is set. So if you want to find out whether we get that done or not, you better tune in for tomorrow's vlog. We shall see you then.